Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with some more Mech Warrior Five Mercy. We're going to do a quick. Um, we're going to do a quick experiment today. <clears throat> I was talking to Von Seiten about using um, Xeno Arg's uh, Xeno Optimize mod um, because it does cause some issues with Von Biome. Uh, Von's biomes, excuse me. And uh, he wondered if I actually were seeing an FPS increase when I run Optimize now. When I first started playing MechWarrior 5, and when mods became a thing, and Xeno Arg's mod became available, I did see a performance increase. Um, however, since then the game has had numerous updates, and while optimization I don't believe was at the top of the list um, for the developers, I also don't think they've ignored it. And I've upgraded motherboard, CPU, and GPU since then. So I may be able to just brute force my way through the same things, uh, that were causing problems earlier. So I don't really know if at this point with my hardware, and, and I just put a video up within the last day or so um, of my hardware and, and settings, if you're interested in seeing it, uh, I'll put a link down below. Um, I don't know if that actually, I don't know if I still see an, a, a bonus or an increase. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start by opening up the mod manager and we're gonna try just a, uh, just a vanilla run. We're gonna play a mission on instant action um, without any mods at all. Then we're gonna come back on uh, and I'm gonna run probably both Optimize and um, I don't have the art Optimize. He has another one as well um, that does some art stuff. Um, at the moment, I just have Optimize. So we'll run that again and we'll see if we see a difference. Um, depending on what we see there, I may run and grab the art optimization um, mod again, throw it on and see if we continue to see improvements um, and, and see how that works. Then what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a full, our normal kind of <clears throat> mod list that we're using right now for our normal setup um, and see if we we'll continue to see benefits or if those benefits disappear with all the mods. So to do that, I do have the performance overlay. This is the NVIDIA one uh, that should show us FPS. Um, this is what we're running right now, just with our recording. We are recording, we are going to be playing the game in 4K and uh, recording the game in 4K. Uh, so, well, that's fine. I said to disable all, so there shouldn't be a, shouldn't be issues. We'll try this again. Anyway, let me get in the game and we'll, uh, we'll fire off a mission. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a war zone. Uh, we're going to make it a difficulty 15, so we're going to be running smaller, faster mechs, which I think should obviously stress the, the game a little bit more uh, because we should be moving a little bit faster. I'm going to make the map size small, though, because I don't want this mission to take forever. Um, we're going to make it winter, and I'm going to put some heavy... Uh, we're going to make some snow, uh, heavy snow on it, just to kind of add some volumetric effects um, to the mix to make things a little bit more difficult as well. We'll make it noon so we can see what we're doing. Uh, we'll confirm that. I will pick some mechs and we'll drop into the mission. All right, I've got a couple Jenners, a Wolfhound, and a Javelin for our 30 tonner. We're just going to come out here and we're going to kill stuff. We're going to try to pay attention to what we got going on. Uh, right now, we seem to be sitting about 60 frames per second pretty solidly. Little dip down to 59. Now, again, I'm playing at 40K, 60 frames per second on, and my monitor's also um, 60 hertz. Now, um, Linus, Tech Tips has, Linus Tech Tips has shown pretty conclusively that higher frame rates, even beyond the uh, display hertz, are beneficial within uh, competitive shooters specifically. So, you know, it'd be nice. I don't know that this one will show us beyond that because, um, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna, if it's even possible for us to show on this one beyond 60, because I'm, I'm not really sure what. Uh... I'm not really sure how NVIDIA is doing this. If they're just showing us what's output to the monitor or, or what, but we'll see. We seem to be sitting at 60. All right, that one's down. 
with our 99% being 51, 49 in there somewhere. We gotta kill 12 things. Go as quick as we can. Where's that chopper? Oh, there he is. Never mind. Been around here real fast. All right, we got a medium in here. Okay. More lights coming in on the left there. Completely really whipped that shot on his arm the first time, huh? All right, we're gonna ignore him there. Panther and Locust. I think maybe I'll go for the Locust first. Let's see if we can... Oh, uh, never mind. PPC gone. All right, now I'll go for the Locust. You get close. SRMs are just nasty. I mean, when you get that close, right? SRMs are the best melee weapon, as far as I'm concerned. Because all of a sudden, there's no real spread on him. All right. We got a couple flyers coming in. This is the last wave right here. Come back here, little guy. Ah, I shut down. I was doing so good. I was running the, running the ragged edge, but not so much. Ended up losing it. That's okay. Let's see if we can... I mean, perfect. And we get out. So I'm looking right now at frames per second of 60. Um, it says 99% to 48. And that appears to be dropping. I'm not quite sure why. Um, because you know what? It sure looked to me like our frames per second stayed kind of 59 to 60 the whole time through. Uh, render latency kind of sat. Um, yeah, 28 is probably a decent average for what we saw there. Um, CPU and GPU, okay. I'll know better once I get into editing if, if they had any big changes.
All right, we're back with Optimize On. Our extreme snow appears to be extreme fog. We'll see if it makes a huge difference. I've added fraps so that uh, we have a second check on our frames per second. And we'll give this one a go. Spider's kicking our butt. So perhaps is the uh, top right corner, obviously. Um, the uh, NVIDIA one is... Uh, he's a ways away. Sorry, perhaps is top left and NVIDIA is top right. I don't remember what I said the first time. Um, I'm wondering if it's automatically limiting us to 60 frames per second. Um, some games do that. Uh, they limit to whatever it is. And whatever the... I might have not set the daytime. It might be a... Well, it might be like late afternoon. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the snow's the same, but I set the time of day different. It did reset it when I got out of the game to do the mods, so. But as far as I can tell, we're seeing pretty much the same thing we were seeing before. We're seeing about 60 frames per second, 59, 60. Um, latency, again, you know, mid to high 20s. So no real difference there. You must be on the other side of the hill. All right, let's play through this and we'll see if we see anything significantly different. lost a leg. That's going to be... It's going to be difficult for him. Oh, I've almost lost the leg, too. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Zip out of here real fast. Still sitting at 60 frames per second. Little drop down to 59. It says our 99% is 35. There we go. He's not as dangerous now. Run away, run away. Ah, I didn't get away fast enough. <laughs> Shut down on top of the explosion. Well, that's fine. It's not not important that I live, merely that uh merely that we see FPS counters. And that we're seeing Fraps is locked at 60. I, uh dropped a little bit there. I saw 57. New target Vulcan. Firing on the commander's requested target. But generally speaking, I'm not seeing a huge change here. Quick little U-turn there. Target 
It's gonna shoot in all four lasers every time. Let's say we uh, back off to do two lasers at a time. Let's see if we can control our heat a little bit better. It's going up, let's see if we can take off legs. LRM, let's get in close where he can't LRM me. Got him. All right, three more things. Got it. Two more, and both are going to be tanks. All right. She's like they're actively uh, shielding for him, you know what I'm saying? All right, the other guy's up here. All right, and I'm going to get out, but again, it looks like we're just fine. Uh, it shows 59 at the moment. 99 is up to 51. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit more. We saw a little bit more, I think, variation in the 99% this time than we did last time, but every time I looked, we were at 59.60 with one little dip down to about 57 that I saw in fraps. So I'm going to say um, no real change. All right, our next run is gonna be a full modded run. Uh, everything you see here, this is what we're using in our standard uh, playthrough as far as our series goes, except for Xenopax Optimize. I'm going to apply that one, and then uh, we'll jump back into the game, and we'll see how it goes. All right, for this one, we are gonna go with, um, we're gonna go with Spaceport City, uh, since we are you know, interested in how this affects the Vaughn biomes um, specifically. Um, I'm going to go with moderate, so we get some smoke in the air again, get a little volumetric action going there. You know what, let's just make it heavy. We, we did heavy on the other one. Um, small map, war zone, 15, um, noon, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Now, Fraps did crash when we loaded in the game. Um, it gave me, I think we'll be fine. We'll stick it one. You know what? Let's go 45. Do we have like a fast? We'll test out something cool. We'll go with a Shadow Hawk. I think this will work. Um, sure, that looks fun. Yeah, 145, there we go. Um, anyway, Fraps gave me an error about, about having trouble with DirectX 11 and Direct 3D, I think is what it said. It gave me a couple of messages when it crashed, but we didn't see anything significantly different on it than we were seeing within our, our uh, NVIDIA one. So I think we just kind of go with it. I have a sneaking suspicion uh, that the game is limiting FPS to the Hertz of our monitor. Um, and I suppose I can do a quick, I, I suppose we could check that as well by changing the monitor to 30 Hertz or something like that and see if it changes with it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So again, we're running without Xenopax optimized at the moment. We're sitting about 57, 58. We do have some smoke. We do have a few other things going on. So we're sitting. Okay, we might actually see, potentially see a difference here because we're not locked at 60 this time. Um, although we are now, um, but we have seen some lower ones as we've run around. Although it does still say our, our 99 is 47. So um, what are my, hold on, let me check my weapon group so fast. Um, one is the Gauss, two is the medium pulse, three is the ER small. I'm just going to put that on the medium pulse. Um, and we'll put my fists there. There we go. Oh, I guess they could stay on three. Sure, why not? Reports enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time to earn our pay. Target acquired. Target destroyed. All right, first chopper down. We've got war effects going as well, right? So that's going to add some more smoke and fire and stuff to things. I apparently, even though I can bust through serious walls, I can't break through a guardrail. Interesting. 
Spider. Those should probably be a little bit more destructive. Are my guys just staying there? Did they not move? They've never left the ship. Oh, well, this will be interesting, huh? Give me base. In. Interesting. Okay, that's a weird bug. The question is, am I good enough to do this without uh, support? doesn't matter that much. We're really just interested in frames per second. And that's kind of all we care about at the moment. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. You want some of this too? Okay. I'm not sure you do, but okay. Let's see if I can give my guys a command to get them out. Nope, they're stuck. They are not moving. Let's run down here. I saw there's a couple tanks right here and then two more over there. So we'll we'll head down that direction. Uh, what do my FPS sitting at? 57, 46. Okay, so we are staying below 60. We're not we're not maxed this time. So we do have potential. We do have a potential to see improvements if we're going to get some. 48, 45, okay. How much ammo do I got? 212 for the, the Gauss, okay. Target destroyed. 53, 55. I don't think I can get over this, but I'm going to give it a go. All right, was that everybody? I hear a chopper. We got two mechs coming that way. We got a lot of choppers coming this way. Little locust here coming in. Ah. One chopper down. We focus on the choppers here first. All right. Uh, my Gauss is torso mounted, so I need to be a little bit careful with that. Uh-oh, losing weapons. They are shooting, so there is that. Yeah, it's pushing back towards our buddies. Oh, missed. Got him. All right. How we doing? That was it? All right, we're out of here. FPS is down to 44. 99% was 30. Well, it was 12 there, so we are definitely seeing some drops here. Of course, I ran into the door. Can I, can I go forward? No, no, we can't. All right, we're back. We got the same setup. The only difference now is that I have added back in our... Um, Xenopax optimize. So we'll see if we get slightly better FPS. Now, last time we did see it, we did see a drop. We were not maintaining 60. We were we were dropping into the 50s. We even dropped some saw some drops into the 40s. I believe. 
Um, and so we'll just kind of see how this one goes. With the remaining friendly screening the retreat. Interesting. Our guys are still not leaving the, the, the base. For a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. Hopefully I've given uh, Von Seiten enough uh, enough info to recreate this. We do have some friends in this case. Um, we are down to 49 frames per second at this point. I will wait till I do my editing before I worry about uh, uh, trying to summarize this because I am playing more so than uh more so than watch the number down to 44. At the moment I would say I'm not seeing a big difference. Now we are we are getting a lot of big explosions there down to 35, but I don't know that we saw uh I don't know that we ran through a bunch of buildings last time like that. So a lot of volumetric stuff. Still sitting at 41. Um, I think, honestly, we could probably call this now. I think we're seeing pretty much the same thing we were seeing before. So we haven't seen a huge difference. Um, I don't believe either modded or unmodded using Xenopacks uh, optimized at the moment. Um, it's not the most scientific. We haven't done any, like, huge logging of information or anything. We're just kind of eyeballing it. But we're seeing drops into the 40s, which is what we were seeing before. And obviously explosions make a bigger difference than otherwise. We are seeing a weird bug where our guys aren't leaving the ship. Now, when we are running Xeno, we do see um, destructive stuff turn into rocks on occasion, which is, which is what started this whole conversation. Um, it is clearly not 100, they are, they are not 100% compatible between the two of them. Are my wep- oh, hold on, it changed my weapon groups back. Um, I'm trying to punch people and I, I couldn't. But yeah, I don't, I don't see, uh, I'm not seeing a big difference. You get another punch in? There we go. Yeah. I think on that awesome punch, Little Mike Tyson's punch out there action going on. We'll probably end this one here. Again, I don't see a huge difference in what we're getting. Um, I think it's been pretty much the same. Uh, obviously, we appear to be capped at 60 frames per second. So in just vanilla, no real issue. What I would like to try actually while I think about it, hold on. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, minimize all of this. I'm going to go ahead and change my display settings. I'm going to knock it down to, uh, I'm going to try to knock it down to 30 frames per second. Or to a different refresh rate and see if it locks. Let's go to 30 hertz. We'll apply that. And we'll see if the game locks itself to 30 hertz or if it stays. Um, yep, we'll keep that. And we'll go back to here, and yeah, it does appear. It does appear that it has locked our frames to 30. So the game does lock 
to whatever your monitor setup is. Oh man, you can see that you can feel the difference at 30 frames per second. Yeah, that's that's. Don't play it at 30. That's my that's my takeaway from this right now. So maybe what I'll have to do is I'll have to try this again later with a higher frames per second monitor. I do have a, a gaming monitor that goes up to like 127 hertz or something along those lines. Um, and we'll have to try it try it that way uh, and see if it gives us a, if we can, we can get a little bit more out of it. But I will say right now, if you're playing at 60 frames per second, um, even up to 4K, I don't believe that Xenopax Optimize is needed, um, depending on your hardware, right? There's always a caveat. Um, so do your own math, but for me, um, with the 3060, it doesn't look like I need Xenopax. Um, we didn't see any significant difference. Uh, we were capped at 60 more or less the entire time in our vanilla playthrough, and for this play, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the hiccups. And for this playthrough, we saw numbers from about mid to high 40s up to 60, depending on what was going on on the map. Um, and, and yeah, I think we'll kind of end that one there. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, maybe like I say, maybe we'll revisit this again if I want to bust out my actual gaming monitor uh, and see what I can do as far as higher, uh, higher frame rates go. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Cheers.